Honorable Julius Malema, I'm rising on a point of order. If I finally meet up with you, I would want to ask you these questions. Are you Julius Malema or Marema? Are you South African or your father was a Shona illegal immigrant from Zimbabwe called Mr. Marema? Is it too early for you to divulge? South Africans are wondering and they are confused as to why you love Mugabe so much, G40 so much, more than them. You talk about Zimbabwe all the time. Please come out now. If you are one of our brothers from Zimbabwe, be open and invest the money you are taking from your gullible supporters in South Africa and also invest back home in your country. Did you get your South African ID correctly? Are you really serious? Wanting to become South African president or you are just joking? How do I become a mafia and live the life you are rolling right now? How do you manage to hide for so long that EFF is your personal pyramid scheme designed to fund your lifestyle from your gullible followers? You hire and fire willy-nilly, ne? You are so brave in attention-seeking games and well-trained in how to hypnotize your followers to give you money your followers who call you economic freedom fighter when you are nothing but a corrupt black man beg grabber bmbg and a mafia boss t-boy andrean mazotti do you tell your ignorant followers that the mansion you stay in is owned by your friend and mafia boss Adrian Mazot, who teaches you how to run a successful tobacco smuggling syndicate. Are your followers aware that you abuse public funds? You destroyed a six million rand mansion in Sentin only to build a new one when your salary by then was a mere 20,000 rands. During your time as ANC Youth League, President, do they know you can't be trusted with money? Tell your followers how VBS bank money got looted. Tell your followers the real reason behind you fighting the Second Republic in Zimbabwe, why you are fighting His Excellency President E. D. Munangagwa. It's not a matter of human rights. You are a G40 loyalist. You are a factional front a G40 drunk parrot front you are working for the Juao, for the Kasukueres, for the Jonathan Moyo not Zimbabwe lives matter you are the last person to talk about human rights do you know Robben Island? do you know how people were tortured in apartheid underground torture chambers? combine those two you are going to come up with EFF head office in Bramfontein, Johannesburg. You are terrorizing your command. You are firing the Munili Nili. Are they, is EFF not under terrorism? You torture them into submission. They are all your wives, your yes, yes wives. Whoever contradict you, whoever rise is fired. You are little Robert Gabriel Mugabe. No wonder why you are his praise singer. You adore and practice tyranny, dictatorship. EFF is a cult, not a political party. No democracy, everyone jumps when you sing. It's your way or the highway. Read Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3. Make every effort to keep the unit of the spirit through the bond of peace. You definitely need deliverance for you to escape from evil because you are a little devil why are you abusing president Cyril Ramaphosa because he's a gentleman because he's respecting you because he's quiet you suffer from self yet if it really black lives matter are you saying people who support ANC 
DA, Ingata Freedom Party, all South Africans who are non EFF members. Are you saying they are not black people? Why must they watch in horror? Why at least they are elected members of parliament are subjected to satanism by your cult of evil EFF brigade of from hell? You are not even a president of South Africa, but you talk as if you are the president of the republic. You talk as if you are the president of Zimbabwe. You talk as if you are Sadak chair. Please behave. Man really talks. A person who failed metric has got a master's degree. From your trip, your British trip, you have come pretending like you don't like white monopoly capital when actually you are bashing your own black brothers. Everyone you talk bad of is normally a black person. You and Nelson Chamisa in Zimbabwe, you are perfect examples of how imperialism is choosing power-hungry youngsters to destabilize the African region by imposing you as a stooge. You will never be a South African president. I used to insult my leadership, but I have repented. Let's broadcast, let's spread love in Africa. Is this what they do, how they do politics in the Western world? No. We are giving entertainment and windows for recolonization of Africa. Let's treat our leaders with respect so that one day if we become leaders too, we'll be respected. Hashtag unite South Africa. Hashtag unite Zimbabwe. Hashtag unite Africa. Let's stop evil.